Hi, I'm Ashley. Today we're here at the Hyundai Santa Fe Turbo Hybrid launch. You can expect a completely different car from its previous generations. So let's go check out five things you'll want to know about the all-new Hyundai Santa Fe Turbo Hybrid. First up, let's talk styling. The unusual design strategy of the car started from the enlarged tailgate area to better facilitate the enjoyment of outdoors before moving on to design the exterior. The exterior leaves a strong impression. It's boxy, yet edgy, and you'll be able to spot the not-so-subtle H-shaped headlamps, defined fenders and taillights. Overall, the fifth-generation Hyundai Santa Fe is sure to turn heads when you see it on the road. Next up, dimensions. The new Hyundai Santa Fe Hybrid measures 4,830mm in length, has an overall height of 1,720mm roof height and has a wheelbase of 2,815mm. That's 45mm longer in length, 10mm in height and 50mm in wheelbase than its predecessor. So what does that mean? A longer length and wheelbase just translates to more interior space for the passengers. While there isn't any change to the width of the car, it was probably kept at 1,900mm to ensure the car doesn't get too bulky to handle. The boot has also gone from 547 litres to 725 litres when in a 5-seater or 2-row configuration. That just means more than sufficient space for luggage, plenty of shopping and maybe even your fur kit. There is also a hidden type assist handle located at the C-pillar for improved roof access to cleaning hard-to-reach places. Nah, I'm just kidding. It was designed for adventurous, outgoing individuals. In the cabin, you see the H design again, applied to the dashboard, air vents, seat stitching and even behind the seats, providing a consistent design throughout. In creating a very user-centric design, Hyundai gave the Santa Fe three large compartments and even a first-of-its-kind UVC sterilization tray for your daily belongings such as your phone or even a wallet. How cool a feature is that? The Santa Fe also comes equipped with the world's first bilateral multi-console storage space that can be opened by both front and rear passengers. The Santa Fe also comes with a panoramic curved display which combines both the 12.3-inch digital cluster and 12.3-inch infotainment system. This will come further paired with a 6.6-inch full-touch climate control display for control over the cabin heating or cooling. At the third row, I was super impressed with the knob to adjust the aircon speed at the rear. Fuel efficiency. I'm sure that's on everyone's mind since the Santa Fe is a big car. It comes equipped with a 1.6-litre turbocharged hybrid engine, providing a combined output of 215 horsepower and 367 newton meters of torque, with a fuel efficiency of 6.9 litres per 100 km. That's close to 1,000 km per tank of fuel, or driving from Singapore east to west 19 times. Lastly, price. The launch price of the all-new Santa Fe Turbo Hybrid Calligraphy is at $277,999 inclusive of Cat B COE. A more affordable Santa Fe Turbo Hybrid is set to join the range soon. While there are aesthetic differences between both variants, the Calligraphy also comes with more advanced features such as the dual wireless charging ports, 12.3-inch TFT LCD and an electrochromic rear-view mirror. So, did the Hyundai Santa Fe impress you? I think it probably did. Now, if you'd like to find out more or arrange for a test drive, do visit www.mrchia.com.sg and reach out to June or Fred via the Hyundai space. Let me know in the comments what you like about the car or what you'd like to find out more. We'll explore the Hyundai Santa Fe Turbo Hybrid in detail when we take it out for a test drive. So subscribe and stay tuned.